Hey everyone, Creatively Kara here and welcome to my creative journey. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Nicholson's Peerless Watercolors. Now I was sent this product for free for my honest feedback and review, but I'm really excited to share my thoughts with you today here on this. The packaging that it came in was all eco-friendly, so I thought that was super, super cool. And they sent me the Jane Davenport Artist Edition, as well as two metallic sheets here. And I just wanted to point out that this is a small family-owned business that's been in the family since 1885. And they've been using this same style of watercolor where they actually put the watercolor on top of paper. <laughs> It's crazy to me because I, I, whenever I think of watercolor, I'm thinking about coming in a tube or, you know, coming in these artist palettes. No, this comes on paper. So when they reached out to me, I was super excited because I want, I always love trying new things and I thought this would be something really excited to try and then share with you guys. Let me know in the comments below, have you used this type of watercolor before or is it something you'd be interested in using? I wanted to swatch out a few of the colors so I could show you what these look like. The colors are so vibrant and they pride themselves on that and I think that they should. I do believe that these colors were truly beautiful. I think that it's awesome how you can use such a small amount of water and it goes a long way. So while these are kind of smaller square sheets of paper, I think that they would still last you quite a while unless you use one color more than the other, but they sell these artist packs where there's 60 different colors, but they also sell individual colors. So again, if there's a color that you use a lot more than others, you can buy them individually. The downside to these, I would say though, is that they can be a little bit messy. I found that the colors kept picking up on my fingers and then my fingers touched my paper. So it got a little, uh, a little messy there, but, um, you know, a lot of the times I feel like art is just that way. The metallic colors though. Oh my gosh. I thought they were so beautiful. I'm always watching those Instagram videos where people are lettering with these metallic -y colors. And now I have some for myself. Oh, I loved it so much. Now, I think that the metallic colors would definitely work really well in like a journal or a bullet journal. And I do hope to make another video with these watercolors for some bullet journal spreads. So let me know in the comments below if you think that's something you'd be interested in and or what kind of spreads you'd like me to make. I've definitely got some weekly spread videos out there, but apart from that, I really wanted to just play around with these watercolors for this video. So I just put together a simple nebula space picture here and I really love how the colors blended together. I started off with just some blues and purple, but then I did decide to go in to add a little bit of this bright red slash pink. I think it was more of a red than a pink, but um, when it blended with the blue and purple, it, it turned a little bit more pink. So it was perfect. And yeah, I love, love the colors and how everything comes together. For this particular piece, I wanted the outside to be very dark. So I went in and I picked out the uh, a very dark gray and it was perfect because I didn't want it to be completely black. Um, so the dark gray blended well with the other colors here as well. Now I just wanted to use my heat gun a little bit because I kept adding multiple layers and I didn't really give it time to fully dry out. I wanted it to be wet on wet here because I wanted the colors to keep blending. So the water definitely piled up a little bit, but the heat gun helped a little bit. And then I decided to go back in through um, around the edges since my paper was sort of buckling up in the middle, um, the water spread to the edges. I just used a paper towel to kind of soak up some of that extra water there. Overall, I absolutely loved how the colors blended together and really just the quality of this watercolor in general. If you are interested in checking these out yourself, I will leave a link to their website down below and I'll also include a referral link which will give you 30% off your order. I, I definitely think it's worth it and I love supporting small businesses. so. If that is something you enjoy doing it too, I recommend you give their website a look over and, and see if it's something that you're interested in purchasing for yourself. Overall, I really love how it turned out, but before I finished off the piece, I wanted to take that transparent 
silvery, sparkly, metallic and coat it. And I'm really glad that I decided to do this because I think it gave the picture just enough sparkle on here. And then of course, time for the reveal. I love taking the tape off, it's so satisfying. And yeah, I, it's, I love it, it's beautiful. And you can see the colors that I used the most were like the pink and the blue, or the red and the blue. Um, but the other ones I didn't use too much of, and, and there's definitely still a lot there. And even where I, you know, picked up a lot of the color, there's still some color left. Well, thank you all so much for taking the time to watch my video today. If you liked what you saw, make sure you hit that like button down below. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. Until next time, bye bye